Hello and welcome to Beyond Civilization with me, Stephen Roberts. On tonight's show, we'll be sailing the stars, visiting distant galaxies, and uncovering the mysteries of alien life. After that, we'll be talking with Elizabeth Stone, a renowned NASA scientist. I know it's all very impressive, but first, let's welcome Michael to the show. Michael is an expert in extraterrestrial. Hello, Stephen. Beautiful stuff. Nice to have you on the show. Oh, finally. So, I know a lot of people, Michael, say uh, studying alien life is a hobby that a lot of people might call fruitless. What would what, what you, what you say otherwise? It's not a hobby of fruitless. <laughs> it's very hard. It's my career. I mean, it, uh, I, 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 not a lot of people know about alien existence. You know, I approach it with a childhood wonderment. You might say it's uh, something rather alien to me. Ah, I like what you've done there. Well, as you know, your research into alien life is extensive and it's, it's, it's thoroughly good work. Why don't you tell us something about this work that you've been doing? Well, I would say the most interesting thing is the interesting people you meet. Absolutely. Uh, it was only the other day I met a, a, a chap from the States who works in the government. And he says in the Nevada desert they're, uh, they're constructing some base codenamed Area 51. Yes, we've got all... Can't really right. talk about it for legal reasons, though. Well, you'd think the government would do a bit better job of keeping such a top-secret base a secret, don't you agree? Well, sometimes these things just slip out, you know, and then someone comes along and uh, shares the news. Yeah, it's like you have just Not done me. there, one out of four. Yeah, well, you know, the film camera is becoming more compact. We are starting to see some very strange things caught on camera. Have you seen many of these things? You don't see the lo a lot of them, uh, one or two maybe in my entire career, and that's well, probably about it. It seems the tables have turned. I just so happen to have some never-seen-before footage here what, really? to show you. Oh my goodness, show. What is that? I don't know. Let's follow it and see where it leads. We need to go. We need to go now. What's that? We need to go. <laughs> Mayo. What's that? I was in the park yesterday. And I heard strange noises. I think started to move. I saw a UFO fly by. Well, I have to say that really put the edge of, put me on the edge of my seat. Uh, Michael, what did you think of that? God! Are you okay? They're real! Oh, where did you find no, 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 hang on a minute, just calm down. I mean, it's all just film footage after all. We can't say for sure that any of those were actually real. I mean, it's been put together. No, it's, it's surreal. I can't, I can't believe this. I can't stay. I can't go with this. You've seen all no, this stuff. no. Ma Michael, are you okay? Um, <laughs> well, I'm sorry about that, folks. It seems that the footage was too much for Michael to handle. I'm sure he'll be okay. We'll take care of him. We're going to go for a commercial break now, but we'll be back. Don't go anywhere, please. With all these UFO sightings, keep your mind sane with Kingsman cigarettes. <laughs> Tired? Lazy? Try moon dust today. Disclaimer, not actually dust from the moon. Ever wanted to taste the Milky Way? Well, now you can. Space milk. Aliens love it. Space freaks out of this world. Spoiled boiled eggs, no problem. Intergalactic Eggle Trot, boiled in water. Flawless Intergalactic Eggle Trot. Are you tired of your life? Get your new space glasses. Iron your clothes. Wash the dishes. Now for only $3.99. Welcome back to Beyond Civilization with your host, me, Stephen Roberts. Our first guest, Michael, sadly had to leave us due to unforeseen circumstances. So let's introduce our next guest, renowned NASA researcher, Elizabeth Stone. Welcome. 
I'd love to jump around and give you a kiss, but oh, I'm stuck behind this <laughs> you desk. Stay right there. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Um, okay. So, Elizabeth, how did you come to work at NASA? Uh, well, actually, my dad was a physics professor. Uh, he used to tell us all these bedtime stories about the solar system and the planets, and uh, it just really got me hooked from an early age. Uh, so, I then went on to do my own physics degree, and he helped me get a job at NASA. Wow, that's fantastic, keeping it in the family. And so, you knew from a young age that's all you ever wanted to be. Oh, well, not quite. Um, I actually had a brief moment where I thought maybe I'd want to be an actor, uh, but my dad would never have allowed that. So. Sure, there's more money in uh, acting. Well, well, no, in NASA scientists. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, you would look fantastic on the big screen. Oh, well, thank you very much, but uh, I find my work with rocket engines much more gratifying than doing the camera business. <laughs> oh, Michael's back to join us. This, this is wrong. I that's wrong. Um, we need to... Are you okay? I need to tell the nation. I prepared a, a few Excuse words. Me. Can we give him a hand? Please? Very important. This is all too much. Michael, I just have a seat I again. We'll, we'll just, oh, maybe get oh, some water or something. Oh, oh, yeah. um, where, where am I on? Here. I, it, it's very important. At home, listen. This in this time of change, it's important for us to recognize our true potential as the human race. I am opening my arms to our benevolent creators, to the ancient ones who came to planet Earth billions of years ago. Uh, to plant the seed of life and created us in their image and gave us the intellect to craft these ships that would take us to their home planet. I encourage you all to join me in the worship of our creators, the Grey Ones, uh, soon to be at their mercy. Michael, are, are you feeling better? Uh, uh, better, uh, better. Did you see the footage? Just sit down a minute and have a drink and we'll continue with the show. Thank you. Yeah, I, I mean, what, what makes you think that they're so real? Who are you? Oh. Oh, this is Elizabeth Stone. She's a NASA scientist. Thank you. <laughs> NASA? Yeah, I've heard about you, your rocket engines and flying saucers, all your fault. There are no flying oh, saucers yeah. at NASA. I, how would I know? Listen, why don't we take a minute to listen to what the public has to say about all of this alien business? Cue the beach here. What do I think of UFOs? Um, I don't think they're around very often, to be honest. I think there's possibly life beyond our solar system. I don't know about the UFOs, but I know that Jesus Christ is the Lord and the true. Do you think we will meet aliens? Probably not in our lifetime. Yeah, not in our lifetime. <laughs> Maybe <but> yours. <laughs> Logically, we could meet somebody from another dimension. Not in the form that we expect to. Ah, it could could be o o only Lord know all all that is a mystery and he knows all the mysteries. I probably asked them about what life is like back where they live. Um, what's your name? I'd probably be running away actually rather than looking at you. <laughs> what's it like in their life and their planet and their solar system? Yeah. What's it like over there? I don't know whether we'd be actually be able to ask them anything because they might not speak a language that we be able to know. I was trying to tell him that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Some very interesting opinions out there. So, what did you two think about some of those opinions? Oh, I'm sure you don't have an opinion. It's just amazing that other people agree with me. I should invite them for tea. I'm sorry, but what is it exactly that makes you think that the aliens are our creators? Only my entire research. You wouldn't know. Right, and, and speaking of which, where is this research conducted? In my car. Sorry, excuse me. Are you, uh, are you what? Stephen Roberts? Yes, I am. This is yeah, my this show. Your show Beyond Civilization. Absolutely. What is this? going what? on I here don't today? This is what? shambles. I'm, 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 I'm Michael Gilmore. I'm Michael Gilmore. You're Michael Gilmore. Sorry? So who's Michael Gilmore? Who, who is, I'm Michael Gilmore. What, what's going on I'm here? I'm supposed to come and talk about extraterrestrial life. Well, who, take who a seat that? there and we'll get on with it. Apologies for this, folks. I should Look, hope so. If you could come back tomorrow, that would be great, because we'll be back tomorrow at the same time. Someone get me a bloody cigarette. I mean, this has been a shambles. Beyond civilization, we'll give you civilization hopefully tomorrow. Uh, uh, ratings to keep up with. What's going on here? Yeah, I'm sorry about this, Elizabeth. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk to you